A doodle is a mixed breed dog that combines the traits of a poodle with the traits of another dog breed. Two of the most popular doodle crossbreeds are the Labradoodle and the Golden Doodle, both of which make excellent additions to the family. The Labradoodle combines the traits of a poodle with a playful temperament of the Labrador Retriever, while the Golden Doodle blends the qualities of a poodle with the affectionate nature of the Golden Retriever. Today, we will check out Labradoodle versus Golden Doodle, which poodle mix breed is better? Number 9. Size and Weight The first and possibly most obvious difference between the Labradoodle and the Golden Doodle are their physical attributes. While it's true that they can be the same size as we mentioned earlier, most standard size Golden Doodles will be bigger than the standard Labradoodle. Standard adult Golden Doodles are usually between 22 and 25 inches long and weigh anywhere from 45 to 100 pounds. Labradoodles are possibly a bit smaller, being between 21 and 24 inches long, and they do not tend to weigh more than 70 pounds. However, size and weight varies greatly on an individual basis. The best way to predict the size and weight of a Golden Doodle or Labradoodle is to take the average of their parents' size and weight. Number 8. Intelligence both breeds of dog are very intelligent, which in turn makes them highly trainable. This means that they make great service dogs as search and rescue dogs, guide dogs, or medical assistant dogs. They are particularly popular among people who need service dogs but suffer from dog hair allergies, as their low shedding coat means that they give off less of the dander that triggers allergic reactions. Both breeds, especially the Labradoodle, enjoy retrieving and will happily play fetch with you all day if you let them. This makes them ideal for search and rescue type work, which may require dogs to seek out objects over vast distances and difficult terrain for several hours. Number 7. Temperament Looking for a lovable companion, the Labradoodle and the Golden Doodle are two poodle mixes that fit the bill as they inherit desirable characteristics from both parent breeds. Both the Labradoodle and Golden Doodle breeds are well known for their affectionate, friendly, loyal, and attractive personalities. While the temperament of each dog ultimately depends on their life experiences and the way they are raised, in general both these breeds make great family dogs to have around young children. The difference in behavior between these breeds is the highly activity level of the Labradoodle. Generally, Labradors are non-stop dogs and this shines through the mixed breed Labradoodles. This hyperactive personality can be put to great use if you intend on taking your Labradoodle hunting or you own a farm. Since the Labrador is often calm and affectionate, the Labradoodle has the same traits. As a pet, the Labradoodle is bound to make you smile with this extroverted personality and strong desire to spend time with human family members. Golden Doodle temperament is similar as Golden Doodles are gentle and affectionate. They are also extremely sociable, making them excellent family pets. However, this outgoing personality means they aren't typically suitable as guard dogs. Due to its intelligence and extroversion, it is important to set boundaries for this breed early on. Otherwise, the Golden Doodle may have difficulty reining in its energy level and enthusiasm. Like Labradoodles, they're friendly with adults, kids, and strangers, and thus do not make effective guard dogs. Both the Labradoodle and Golden Doodle breed do not display aggressive behavior, making them suitable for families. While sometimes these dogs are used to guard a property, they lack the aggressive nature to be a guard dog. Number 6. Coat When comparing the Labradoodle versus Golden Doodle, the most distinctive difference is the coat. Purebred poodles have tightly curled hair, which gives them their distinctive appearance. In contrast, the Labrador Retriever has a coarser, thicker hair follicle. All Pride and Prejudice Doodles Labradoodles are coat tested, so should have long non-shedding coats unlike many Labradoodle breeders, but many still have a glossier, thicker coat than the fluffier Golden Doodles. Labrador Retrievers also come in a variety of coat colors, 
So a Labradoodle's coat naturally comes in yellow, chocolate, white, cream, or red. However, since it's part poodle, they sometimes come in some sort of fun poodle variations, parte, brindle, merle, etc. Golden Retrievers have a thinner hair follicle, but more hair overall, so they tend to have a fluffier, wavier look. Golden Retrievers naturally have cream, caramel, gold, or red-colored puppies. All Golden Doodles through Pride and Prejudice Doodles come from coat-tested parents to guarantee against shedding. Number 5. Golden Doodle vs. Labradoodle Activity Level Labradoodles are high-energy dogs that need lots of exercise. A fenced-in backyard is ideal, but long walks, runs, or hikes will help this active breed release energy and stay on track. They also enjoy agility training, tracking, and herding. This active breed is known for their love of the water, thanks to their retriever genes. Generally speaking, because of their high activity level, Labradoodles don't do well in apartment settings. Golden Doodles may not require quite the same level of exercise as Labradoodles, although they are still energetic dogs that require about 30 minutes of moderate exercise per day. They can also keep up with an active family and can enjoy longer runs or hikes. Golden Doodles love the water and enjoy a good swim and particularly a game of fetch in the water. Number 4. Health and Lifespan Mixed breed dogs generally have less health issues than those thoroughbred breed dogs. As a mix of the Poodle and the Labrador Retriever, a Labradoodle can have health problems that are common in either breed. Labrador Retrievers and Poodles often develop hip dysplasia. Although Pride and Prejudice Doodles has done their best to rule out genetic causes, sometimes environmental issues such as overexercise or an imbalanced diet can cause it to appear anyway. With proper care, the typical lifespan of a Labradoodle is 15 years, making this breed an excellent choice for a long-term companion. Since Golden Doodles are part poodles, they may also develop hip dysplasia as they get older. Number 3. Training – Labradoodles vs. Golden Doodles The Poodle is an intelligent breed, making both the Labradoodles and the Golden Doodles smart and easily trained dogs. These breeds are fast learners and have a constant will to please their owners. Starting training early can help the Poodle puppies to learn right from wrong. As the saying goes, it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. A Labradoodle or Golden Doodle will only seek out mischief if they become bored. Being intelligent breeds, they need stimulation to keep them occupied. Make sure you are prepared for a high-energy dog if you take a Labradoodle or Golden Doodle home. Number 2. Cost Ever since their introduction, both Labradoodles and Golden Doodles have proven to be popular breeds. Their sweet and loving nature and low shed coats have made them easy picks for pet owners around the globe. High profile celebrities such as Jennifer Aniston and Usher own Labradoodles and Golden Doodles as pets, and both breeds are considered to be some of the most popular designer dogs around. High quality doodles typically cost between $1,500 and $3,500. The cost depends on several factors such as location, the health testing performed on the parents, the food health care expenses, the breed's reputation for excellence, standing by their health guarantee, etc. If you're looking for a Labradoodle or Golden Doodle to add to your family, remember that the cost is a reflection of the breed's reputation and the quality of the puppies available. Number 1. Golden Doodle vs. Labradoodle – The Bottom Line both Labradoodles and Golden Doodles make excellent dog choices, especially for anyone who has issues with dog hair, as they tend to be low shedding. Both are intelligent, friendly, and highly trainable. This makes them great pets for families as they will fit in with kids and other pets quickly and will appreciate always having someone to play with. Both Doodles are friendly, loyal, and affectionate. Both dogs live for companionship and need plenty of exercise, companionship, and stimulation. So, which is right for you? If you're looking for a working or hunting dog, a Labradoodle may be better because of its slightly bigger size and higher energy level. Labradoodles are often chosen for service dog work, too. However, Golden Doodles are very popular for therapy dog work, thanks to their outgoing, sunny personalities. 
either Doodles is sure to bring a lot of love to your family. Do let us know in the comment which one is your favorite among them. Please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.